Hi, and welcome to Short Little Lessons in Philosophy by philosophynews.com. This series is on introducing logic, and so far in the series we've been looking at constructing arguments. We've been looking at the foundation for building arguments, and in this video I want to walk you through how to construct and use simple and compound statements uh, in your arguments. We're going to look at uh, the next stage in building out an argument. So what we've seen so far is that the concept of a statement uh, as used in logic uh, have the grammatical structure of a declarative sentence in English and a declarative sen sentence is simply an assertion or a claim that something is true in the world and that's how we've been talking about statements so far um, we've also noticed that when we're we're building out an argument an argument is made up of premises and, con and a conclusion and statements are used to make the assertions in the premises, make the claims in the premises, and then make the claim in the conclusion. So statements are used to construct those aspects of the argument. And you'll remember that the premises are the reasons you cite, the, the reasons you give, uh, in order for someone to believe that the conclusion is true. That's the, the statement of fact, or the claim of truth in the conclusion. So statements then represent or symbolize propositions. We looked at that in an earlier lesson. The proposition is actually what is true or false, and the statement serves as a symbol or a representation of that meaning, of that idea. So we've been looking so far at this concept of a statement, and what we want to do next is learn how to construct statements so they can be used in arguments. Even though statements are declarative s sentences, we still need to write them in a very specific way so they can be used in an argument. Now you haven't learned how to write arguments yet, but I'm going to show you an argument. This is of a very specific form, which we'll study later. And this argument is attempting to get someone to believe that last statement, the conclusion, followed by the therefore, that fishing is relaxing. That's the thing the person making this argument wants to get you to believe. So the first two sentences are the premises, they're the evidence, they're the reasons. And you can see in this argument that for the the two premises there's actually two claims being made the claims are repeated throughout the argument but there's uh, two essential truth claims being made the first is if fishing gets you gets your mind off of things and the simple sentence here the sentence is fishing gets your mind off of things uh, then fishing is relaxing and that's the second statement that is being made now you'll notice I did not circle uh, the if and the then and that is because the if and the then are what are called operators, or an operator, and we'll learn about that later, uh, that is not included in the statement, uh, the claim of fact. The two claims of fact are the ideas there circled in red. You'll notice then they're also repeated uh, in the rest of the argument. Fishing gets your mind off of things, and therefore fishing is relaxing. And we'll learn how this works, as I said later. The, the idea here, though, is that we have two statements of fact, those st statements of fact are being made uh, as true about the world and that's how they're, they function in the argument. So when you look at what a simple statement is, we're taking the concept of statement and now specifying it a little bit, when you look at what a simple statement is, a simple statement just declares that one thing is true. That's what makes it simple. Now you'll notice in the argument we had two separate claims, but each one is making a single statement of fact, a simple claim that something is true. Okay, So when you think about a simple statement, uh, that's what you want to keep in mind. It's a simple concept that makes only one truth claim. Now a lot of times in logic, and we'll see this in just a moment, the statements that are being made or the statements that you're using are actually complicated. There's a lot more going on than, than one truth. So what you want to try to do when you're constructing arguments is to take complex ideas and reduce them to simple ideas by putting them in the form of a simple statement. And I'll show you how this works. Now it's possible to take a, a complex statement and use it in an argument. And we'll, we'll, we'll look at that next. That's called a compound statement, and those are certainly allowed in logic. But a lot of times what I do when I'm looking at a logical argument is I try to take a, comp a complex idea, reduce it to simple statements, and then restate it as a compound statement. And you'll see why this is relevant later, but it really helps to isolate the individual truth claims, and then you can link them together uh, using what are called operators. Okay, so let's take this sentence. While Jose was on vacation, he went to the movies or took walks. He visited friends, 
and ate most of his meals at restaurants. Those are, that's, a, that's a statement, a sentence, that makes a bunch of truth claims. Now, uh, just take a, a moment to look at that and see if you can figure out what those truth claims are, how many there are, how many different claims of truth there are. Now, if you have done this before, or you've studied logic, you may immediately notice that there's five different truth claims being made. And what I want to do is, is write those out and isolate those for you. And then we'll put them back into a compound statement using uh, sentence operators. Okay, so first let's list, the, let's list the different claims that are being made in this argument. The first is, Jose was on vacation. And that's at the beginning of the, um, of the sentence. Uh, the next is, Jose went to the movies. Now I'm going to write the word Jose here. The actual phrase is he went to the movies, but I'm just just to make uh, make it clear um, and to uh, illustrate, I'm going to put Jose's name in there. The third statement is that Jose took walks, and again using Jose just for the purposes of illustration. Uh, the fourth statement is Jose visited friends, and if you're following along, the obviously the last statement is going to be. Jose ate most of his meals at restaurants. All right, so those are all of our five uh, simple statements that are embedded in this uh, larger statement. And we can now, once we've got our simple statements isolated, we can now go back and write this as a compound statement. And as I mentioned earlier, compound statements take simple statements and use what are called sentence operators to link those simple statements together into a compound statement. Um, there's a lot of reasons for writing things the way I'm going to show you how to write them. Uh, they're used in different uh, logical models and logical analysis later. So just for, the, just for the purposes of this video, I'm just illustrating how this is done. Okay. I'm going to erase the uh, simple statements here, and then we're going to look at how to use the simple statements in constructing a compound statement. Okay, okay. now I'm going to rewrite the, this statement that you see, the sentence that you see on screen, uh, as a compound statement for use in a logical argument. We're going to essentially take the simple statements, we're going to use sentence operators, and then we're going to write, write it as a compound statement. The two operators I'm going to use for this purpose are the operators AND, called a conjunction operator, and the, con and the operator OR called the disjunction operator. And again, I will teach you about both of these uh, later on in the course. All right, so let's, let's write out our compound statement using the simple statements that we identified earlier. Here's how it would look as a compound statement. Jose was on vacation. And is our first operator. He went to the movies. Or our second operator, he took walks. And then I'm going to use another operator, and he visited friends. And finally, our last statement. He ate most of his meals at restaurants. Okay, so we've got all of our simple statements here, uh, the same ones we saw in, the, in an earlier slide. Um, they're all represented in this argument. Okay, and I'll underline those for you. Jose was on vacation. He went to the movies. He took walks. He visited friends and he ate most of his meals at restaurants. And so we have five simple statements. We should have four operators that link them, and we do. We've got and, or, and, and then and. So this is considered a compound statement in logic. Again, it's taking the simple statements, linking them using operators, and it's stated as one uh, idea, because this is the idea that we want to communicate. And we would say that this entire statement is true or false, and there are ways to determine whether the entire statement is true or false based on the truth value, whether each individual statement is true or false. 
and the operators also have a role to play in determining that truth value. So what we've learned is we use statements in creating premises in a conclusion. Statements can be either simple, they express one truth, one idea, or they can be compound, they express multiple truths using simple statements and connected by operators. And in future lessons, we'll learn how to build these and use them in arguments themselves.